Hey guys and welcome back again to my city builds channel here on YouTube. This is Ben and we're starting episode 21 of building Westfield. So again, my goal, I want to reach those 3200 citizens as soon as possible. But as you can see, my plan is to not destroy if possible the natural surroundings so there is currently hardly any room left for me to really expand my city i can maybe squeeze something in here squeeze a couple of more residential zones in here and over there but then well I'm almost finished with it, I would like to say, because, yeah, I think the next square I definitely have to go for is this one over here, because it offers me way more room to expand my city. Um, by the way, if you can hear some purring in the background, this is one of my cats, Jackie. <laughs> so, don't worry, don't wonder. He's yeah he always he usually wants my attention when i'm sitting in front of <laughs> city skylines well not only city skylines but um yeah so that's it um i'm curious because as i can see the um, residential things here um they improved a lot but I'm not sure whether these are actually households or maybe more like commercial things. Um, so I originally wanted to have hotels there, um, but for now I don't have it. Now I remember that sometime uh, closer to the end of the last episode 20 of Building Westfield, I received an update. Um, or Beechwood Park. Um, so maybe, maybe, let me see. What else do we need? Um, just curious. More entertainment level, because the visitors is actually something we will hit anyways. Um, so I'm in for the entertainment thing. I'm just curious what, what else. So we do have the souvenir shop, we have the restrooms already, we have this and that, uh, the piggy train, the rotating teacups. Have we added these? I'm not sure, to be honest. But I think, yeah, let's just add in. We don't have the swinging boat yet. So I want to add this in here as well. We don't have bumper cars. I loved it, by the way, when I was young. I really enjoyed this a lot. So we, I think we used all the venues that we could use at the moment for now. Um, yeah, so I'm curious, maybe that will change soon and we can even like upgrade the thing even more than we already had. Well, there are already some operating teacups, but well, now we have two of them. I don't mind. People will for sure like it. So this lane management shenanigans that's happening over here is yeah a bit difficult so maybe I have to upgrade this road to a what it is already a four lane. What? Okay. So yeah let's just <coughs> Let's just see where we end up with. In the Pleasant Career Center, we are missing students. 
So to gain more students, I'm just curious because we would have, I think we have way more than enough students within our city. <coughs> Oh, that's totally uneducated still. Honestly. So something is completely off with this town. And I don't know why, to be honest. So let's put in a high school there. This is completely uneducated. Why is one district suffering so much when you compare it to other districts? Why is that happening? High density, 27 uneducated. This is the elementary school we added in here. So let me let me check the educational level here again. Do they maybe just don't like education? I'm not sure. But over here, I kind of understand it. kind of understand it, but on the other side, I'm, to be honest, not sure why. Is it a funding problem? So a general fun funding problem. So this, I think this will change a lot of things. Yeah. It already starts changing things. Um, so we just don't want to have any like day night cycles, even though it's it's a lot more beautiful at night, but it's hard to harder to distinguish things. Um, at least for for you as you're not playing it and you're watching this episode so this is improving elementary so high school are you kidding me one high school. Okay, we need more high schools, I think. Yeah, for sure. I just want to make sure that people get enough education. More than enough education. There the fire is burning. There is another high school. Ah, uh, so this district is really causing me troubles here. I'm just wondering why. I have a police department. Mm, uh, okay. Let's put in a... What kind of road is it over here? It's a two-lane standard road. So no upgrading thing, but I 
So let's think about a little police station. Then add an auricular road over here. So loads of buildings are upgrading now. Um, oh, there are a lot of things happening at the moment. Well, <coughs> I'm really surprised. I think the missing police station, uh, it's an office building. Yeah. So this is getting really, really high rise. And I should think about this is even a four lane. But the shrinks down. No, it's not a four. This is a four lane. Uh, so I'm thinking about upgrading. Small four lane road. Four lane one way. Let's see what happens. Okay, two lane. Yeah, probably. We go for the four lane with that creative grass. Oh, wow, that's huge. This is really huge. So no possibility for now. We're going for this banded small falling. Upgrading this. Lane. Um, I'm curious. No, that's better. So a standard four lane. Like upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. How come? Businesses. You should like it for sure. Uh, the bus station issue. So I'm plotting in loads of four lane roads here. For now, just to help these districts to grow massively. Um, I'm just wondering, okay, we should definitely think about doing something um, regarding that. So change this to and I don't want those to end too close to the crossing. Um, That's not really helpful. Um, then I'm also considering to upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this and that, this. Oh, sorry. Can I? I can't. So what are you? You're in the office building. Okay. Excuse me for accidentally 
changing you guys from an office building to a residential zone. That's not what I intended to do. Um, I should change that. So I'll leave that spot free for a... I'm trying to... squeeze in a park at a later stage there. And now, again, this is one of the things that I I haven't really understood of city skylines, to be honest. Um, is that some of the buildings do not really upgrade themselves without being demolished or getting demolished further. Yeah, I can imagine how these people are feeling at the moment because I'm plastering like their surroundings with mm, huge four lane roads that I wouldn't like them either to have them, but well, sometimes you definitely need them without wanting them actually. So let me add in, just pause the game for a little while and add in a few parks like in between. There's a basketball court. This is a plaza. And there's a large playground. Small park. Oh, I'm missing these one by one tiled parks from SimCity 4, they were sometimes really convenient. And at the moment, it seems to me that the only option that I can really go for, I definitely like this kind of park, so no worries about that. But the only option I can really go for is like the Japanese garden because it seems to be small and nice and and well like suitable for almost every every location and another th strange thing by the way I do have a part area here and this doesn't show up in in violet which is something that wonders me as well. So they are supplied and supported. I want to give you the chance to have a little park here. And you get a little park there. Are you influenced by that too? No, I guess not. Well, that's it put one down here and down there 
So let's see what happens. Now this city is pretty much packed with parks, except for here and there. And here goes another one. So let's see what happens. Fast forward, see whether the city is growing or not, and whether we are gaining more citizens, a bigger population. Yeah, population realized, they realized that the city is getting greener. People moving in. People moving in. Mm. So let's just wait and see what happens. So now I'm trying something. I didn't want to do that beforehand. I'm sorry, guys. That was just a little incident with my little boy happening, actually. So, yeah, but no, no worries. Everything's fine. As you can see, I demolished things over here just to have a look and just to see whether a different type of resident Potential zone is actually <sighs> okay. They're happy. They are happy. Mm, so it's getting a bit bigger. It's not yet what I was intending to have, to be honest. But well, maybe I need to do the deed. Even though I'm very, very sorry, sorry for that, I need to do it. Let's see what happens. I'm adding in a four way roads here, you know. I know you don't like it because for some some reason well if you did that in um some city four it was actually quite unnatural that um yeah citizens and and residents they started rebuilding their homes very very soon um after upgrading the zone from a medium or low rise there was even the difference between medium low rise and high rise um something i'm sometimes a bit missing um in city skylines but well it's kind of a different concept it's totally okay hopefully the fire department gets in there in a second yay there they are Deleting the fire, everything's good again. Thank you, fireman. Um, so it's a different concept here in City Skylines. It's totally fine. Um, yeah, but some game mechanics, as I said, are sometimes a bit odd. Okay, the citizens will prefer working over education. Yeah. 
so uh, recycling thing and water usage mm. um so no electricity for heat um Okay, I'm adding this prefer Okay, let's check what happens. Let's just check what happens. Whether I'm doing, taking the right spot here. Not enough heat. You're telling me that there is not enough heat available. You could be right, unfortunately, because I forgot adding in heating pipelines. So that should be fine. This should be fine. But everyone else seems to be supplied well enough. Yeah. So they are upgraded now. It was pure luck, by the way, that I was just at this specific location because otherwise I wouldn't have realized it that soon. Um, so what about free Wi-Fi? No. Mm. City planning. Can I afford this? Let's see. No, I guess. I'm curious now. I think that's good for now. People keep moving in, so next thing. We're demolishing this, 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 
this, this, this, this, this, and Q. We're placing in a block here. Let's demolish that part of the road. Let's put this in. And then we we'll change that and that. And very good. So, more high-rise residential for my town center here. Like, yeah, no, I demolished one of my things here my walkways so taking this down how come that I can't select it That doesn't make sense. This does not make any sense. What the fuck did I delete here? I'm... What am I doing here? This is kind of good. So let me just whatever here fire department so you go in there i just want to make make sure that everyone's supported and covered by local police doesn't really help if you can't and maybe i have to rethink yeah that's it that's the issue now I understand. So this is the issue that some of the bus lanes are no longer closed. So, so this goes. Which lane is it? Oh, come on. This is sometimes really annoying. No. Let me see which line is it. Which one is it? Please. Come on. I don't want having to... 
Okay, boss lane three. Yeah, want to delete this and add in a new lane for the whole area here. That's looking like like something now. Maybe these just haven't moved and because of missing public transportation opportunity. Could be, that could be, unfortunately. So, fix my bus lane thing. Um, I have to fix this here. And I'm curious, <coughs> I'm really curious what will happen, how many people are moving in, and if we can, if I can actually reach the 3200 um, within this episode now. Because um, I'm getting closer, slowly and slowly getting closer and closer um, to my plans. So still leaving that zone what like this 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 and that mm. 
I'm also taking care of this and this. So let's go for it. So let's see what happens and how many new people are actually moving in now. And I think we can also, what kind of road is that? It's a two lane. A2, beautiful two-lane road with trees. Um, yeah, this one. Good. So we are adding in some more high-density residences over here and over here. Unfortunately, I'm automatically getting rid of some of the existing trees and such, which is really sad. But to achieve the goal, to be able to reach the 3200 citizens, I need to do something. And unfortunately, this is, or at least seems to be one of the things. Oh, what? Stop it. Low land value. Why are you telling me low land value? Why is that? So what are you missing, guys? What are you guys missing? As it think it could be the road. Now let me offer you something like a oh there is a beautiful park already. Entertainment no. But what actually raises the Land value. Four. Well, I'm going to care about that later. I'm just curious or eager to achieve my goal ASAP as soon as possible. So let's see. I think we gave our citizens now enough room to expand. But it'll, yeah, for sure, take a little while until we <coughs> will be able to achieve that. So this is slowly rising here, which is good. I thought Beachwood Park has reached level four, actually. So we are able to drop in two more venues, two more rides to our like amusement amusement park. That's something I'm going to do now to right before I'm ending this episode now. Um, so let me see. This is new. And this should go. 
right here. And this is also new. So this is a bit bigger. I need to place it over there. Yay, nice. So this is something like a fun park now for the citizens with a bit more attraction. The income, well, let's raise it a bit to $20. And yeah, we already have most of the entertainment level that we need to achieve for level five. Good guys. Thanks a lot. As you can see, we almost, yeah, we're achieving quite some, but a couple of people are moving in, which is good still have some fluctuations with our expenses here but that's something well i'll care about that in the future um but people keep moving in we're getting closer to the 3200 mark which is something i really like people are moving in houses are getting upgraded yeah and just let me say thank you for joining in again on my city builds channel i'm ben and i'd be really happy if you could follow me leave me a like post a comment let me know any tips any recommendations things you would do differently i'd be happy to discuss it anytime so just let me know let's stay in touch have a good day thank you Bye-bye.